What's up, guys? I'm going to rate my worst songs from bad all the way to ass. Here we go. Cannot forget the cowboy hat. Isn't that right, Daisy? Let's go. Starting off with Good Girls, Bad Guys. This song is just straight up ass. You look back on this and you cringe. Like, like if you don't look back on your music and cringe, then, uh, then you're doing it wrong. That means you're not changing, right? This is like everybody with they, them pronouns in their bio right now. You're going to look back on that and cringe. Plus... This, this still, to this day, look at that, the year, it's still doing so well. It still makes more than Anthony Fantano does a year, just this song. Like his whole, Anthony Fantano's whole uh, YouTube channel, that song alone makes more than he, than he does in his whole year. That's not Anthony Fantano, what the fuck? Moving on, Bad Girls Club, still, dude, this is just, I don't understand why people listen to this still. You know, I, I get it, at the time, it was like, I, it was fun, you know what I mean, it was fun. Looking back on it, like, this is literally ass this is like this is every youtube critic um uh combined together to make the ultimate youtube critic cringe right this is that's what this is right here my life is like a video game on a scale of one to ass ass i think what these people are missing is is the fact that everything i do is tongue-in-cheek and i think that a lot of people don't Nowadays, can't make eye contact and have very bad social cues and all that stuff. And we're developing as a society today, nowadays, it's like nobody wants to look at each other. You're always looking down at your phone, right? So people don't realize that what I do, most of my stuff is tongue in cheek. Like it's not, I don't take myself too seriously. So when I made Game Over and stuff like that, it was supposed to be, at the time, everybody kind of knew. The fans that grew up with me knew that. Thanks, Daisy. The fans that grew up with me knew that I was tongue-in-cheek, but the new fans that are coming in and new people that are like, who's this guy? They're like, what the hell is this? Because everything is so serious now, they don't realize when something's tongue-in-cheek. But let me tell you guys something. Even when it's tongue-in-cheek, it's still ass. Ah! Yeah, I know. Shitting in Pampers. This is literally the most ass song ever. I don't know why it has 70 million views in a year still. Still making more money than Anthony Fantano and all these other stupid YouTube critics. And saying that this song, Shitting in Pampers, is literally still generating more money than these YouTube critics can do talking about me because they can't talk about themselves, right? I'm in it all for you guys, right, Daisy? That shit's ass. I'll start doing the other bands that I think are ass, too, because there's every single one of them, dude. There's so many of them. I wish bands would be more honest with their, with their fans about what they think is ass, but nowadays everybody's so fucking serious all the time. No, nobody can take... They, they take themselves too serious now, if you haven't noticed. Oh. Oh. I'm so emotional. Oh. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? 